hello what is the value of a given that you have 5 to the power of a equals 60 so from here let's have it to be solution let's introduce log to both sides so we have it to be log 5 to the power of a equals log 60 then once again recall that when we have log p to the power of m the power m will come down to base to be m multiplied by log p likewise happen to this we are going to have a to come down base multiplied by log 5 equals log 60 then from here let's divide through by log 5 Define here also by log 5 in order to get the possible value of a. Mind you, this will cancel out this. Then we are going to have a to be equals log 60 divided by log 5. So from here, this is the final answer for the value of a. But mind you, we can simplify this further. Note that we can have 60 to be equals. 5 times 12 so from here let's have them in parentheses when we substitute it here we are going to have a to be equals log 5 times 12 all in parentheses divided by log 5 then we call from the law of logarithm that when we have log a times b such that a b are constants we can simplify this as log a plus log b what we are saying here is that the multiplication of this we change to addition so when we apply it here we can have this as a will be equals log 5 plus log 12 divided by log 5. And mind you also that when we have a plus b divided by c such that a, b, and c are constant, we can write this as a divided by c plus b divided by c. So the moment when we apply it here, we are going to have a to be equals log 5 divided by log 5 plus log 12 divided by log 5 and this will be equals a log 5 we divide by log 5 they are the same it will be 1 from here 1 plus log 12 divided by log 5 so from here to we can have 12 to be the product of 4 times 3 so when we substitute this one here we are going to have a to be 1 plus log 4 times 3 in parentheses then divided by log 5 so from here we have a to be equals 1 plus log 4 plus log 3 divided by log 5. So a will be equals 1 plus log 4 divided by this log 5 plus log 3 divided by log 5. You call that one half log A divided by log B equals as log A in base B. We take this here, we take this here, apply it here. We are going to have A to be 1 plus log 
4 in this 5 plus log 3 in this 5. This is the value of a again. This is also equals as when we have a to be log 60 in this 5. Now, let us check. We have 5 to the power of a to be equals 60. Then a equals this. When we substitute here, we have 5 to the power of 1 plus log 4 in this 5 plus log 3 in this 5 then it's going to give us 60 when we have a to the power of m plus n plus b we can simplify this as a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n a to the power of b so apply it here we can have this as 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 4 in base 5 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 3 in base 5. Then it's going to be equal 60. 5 to the power of 1 will give us 5 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 4 in base 5 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 3 in base 5 then it's going to give us 60 let us note one thing that when we have a to the power of log b in base a so far these base and these are the same the output of this type of expression will be and this also implies when we have 3 for instance to the power of log 7 in base 3 this base and this base are the same. The output will be equals 7. So when we apply it here, 5 is here, 5 is here, the output will be 4. 5 is here, 5 is here, the output will be 3. Then we will multiply everything by this. Let's say 5 it will be equal to 60. Then from here we have 5 times this will be 4 times this will be 3. Then it's going to give us 60. 5 times 4, you give us 20 times 30. Then it's going to give us 60. 3 times 0, you give us 30. 0, sorry. 3 times 2, you give us 6. 60, then equals 60. Since the left hand side equal to the right hand side, this implies that A equals 1 plus log 4 in base 5 plus log 3 and this 5 satisfied. Bye bye.